She clocked in, celebrity guest, never guess who gon' drop in. Television's best, like a S on the chest. Who's next? Say less, cause you rockin' with you rockin' with the best. Girl Mo Clark with the post up coming to you live from Status Network and we back in the building. I had to get y'all something different this week. You know, I ain't get y'all no soup. I got yellow little bang bang. You know, <laughs> you know. But I gotta watch out. This one ain't real. She ain't real, honey. She gonna tangle up. So look, you since she on this side, if you see this, you know, just be like, hey, hey, hit that curl. You got it. All right. <laughs> you know, y'all make sure we look good for the people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't know who the people are. I'm just saying. <laughs> Whomever, whom's and ever it is, you know, you guys talk like a slave. Whom's and ever is watching. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's your girl Mo Clark. We are back. I know you guys are used to seeing me every week, but your girl be getting tired. You know, I am randomly picking up PR clients. I don't know what's happening. They don't tell me what they're doing. I just kind of go to Facebook and Instagram just like everybody else. And I'll be like, hey, you know, Myron's on tour. I didn't know it. He didn't give me his schedule. But it's okay. I'm still his PR. I do what I do, okay? That's what I do. So we are back, and we have a, a bunch of people. A bunch. Like, it I'm is like, a it's a bunch of uh, it, all of us, and we're going to kick it off with the person who obviously wanted to be kicked <laughs> off with her. Because <laughs> you said on the far end, so that she, means she can't. She you. ready. She, she ready. She came ready. So I have the It's Variety. Is it It's Variety? It, it is, is Variety. variety. All right, we got to get into that name. So, who who going to tell me about the name of the show? This guy right here. This guy right here. I'm so nervous to be on okay. television, right but, you know, since you asked. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, It's Variety is a sketch comedy show. Um, we, well, I started in 2020 during the pandemic. Needed something to fill my time out while I was at home mm -hmm. with nothing to do. I had an acting school, closed the acting school. Oh. And, uh, oh. I oh, know. But you know, it was sense. meant to be, you know, because what we got going on now is meant to be. And uh, pretty much I did a season by myself just playing all the characters. And after that first season, decided it was time to get a full cast. And everybody here I met on a set or I met in an acting class. And we all came together to do the show. Okay, let's talk about playing. Oh, and I'm Naja Small, by the way, since I didn't introduce you. Naja Small. Yes. Let's talk about, okay, so all of you guys act, right? Yes. Yep. Do you also play, like like him, you also play dual roles before in other things, whether it was on this show or on your own? On this show. On this show, okay. Yeah, everybody you has multiple them, characters. So. You knew them. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when you were playing these multiple roles by yourself, <laughs> ain't it tiring? You know, at the time it wasn't because I'm at home with nothing to do. So True. I took the time and wrote out the entire season. Um, one day I went to one of my friend's studios, shot a couple scenes, mm -hmm. and I shot everything. And then I decided, okay, this is going to go in this episode. This is going to go into this episode. So it just, I got used to it. It was just, that's it. Let's talk about comedy because I, I, got, I got questions, okay? Mm -hmm. here's, here's my thing. 
Okay, this is a very serious moment, so don't mm. don't laugh at me. It's very serious. It's Shh. near to my heart. When I talk to my friends about my relationship problems, right, mm. they laugh at me. Now, I don't mm. know if they laughing because of the delivery, right, because the shit don't be funny. It's, it's I mean, after the delivery. fact, like, years later when I be like, girl, you's dumb. You know, I, I laugh at it later. But I don't be laughing at it then. Mm. Comedy is a hard it's a hard thing, right? You you guys don't think so? When well, no. you're trying. <laughs> right. Uh, when right. you're trying, but some people just have that personality where what, what they say comes off is funny. So that just might be your delivery. Yeah, but I, I find that surprising because you seem to be naturally funny. funny correct. So I, I would imagine that that's what they're picking up on is your comedy. You know how hard, like, literally, I talked to one of my friends, and she was crying laughing. I'm like, I'm like bitch, hold on. What? I'm hurt. Right, like, my You're laughing. Hurt. Right. And she was like, girl, but you said, I know what I said. I was there when I said it. I said what I said, and I meant it, but damn, is it that funny? You right. walking in the house laughing, your family's talking, what's wrong with you? <laughs> my friends ain't her husband, Lil' name's no. What the hell? Shit, shh, be quiet. This was between us. Oh. Right? It was between us. It was between <laughs> us. But with the comedy, do you guys actually, is it is it impromptu or? Yeah, so is anybody? Okay, great. So I'll take a minute. <laughs> um, so a lot of the times we just had like scenarios. So mm -hmm. we would kind of have a gist of what we wanted the outcome to be. And it didn't always come out that way because we just, a bunch of fools mm. and we just like to have a good Speak time so <laughs> he's a leader <laughs> right <laughs> and then some of them um were scripted so mm -hmm. we still we had sort of a script and we wanted to stay you know with that but also just put our twists on it and just have fun that was the majority of it we had fun mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we had fun there would be moments on set where we couldn't stop laughing <laughs> like we have to stop filming completely because we're just so out of control laughing mm -hmm. and that would be the 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 best part of us coming together and doing this process we really had fun throughout the filming yeah. process and laughed and we knew we were having fun because after we finished filming we still stayed where we were at had food yeah. you know drink just chilled yeah. and we just built that bond with each other so everybody tell me what is your favorite character to play so far. Mm. You go first, Okay, you go first. Is my curl okay? I just want to make sure it's my curl because I'm leaning towards you. I don't want to be next to you and it's nappy. You got to keep so because we looking directly oh, at I got you. a twist to it. So uh -oh. say the favorite character that you play and then also your overall favorite character in the show. Ooh. The character I play, uh, I want to say his name was John, but I had makeup on. I had a wig on. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why you have to look at me when you say a wig? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm like I'm just, I was just asking the people <laughs> wanted to know. I know everybody saw I had a wig <laughs> on. What the hell? It was a pretty dope character. I didn't even think, you know, I had comedy instilled in myself. Mm -hmm. um, he allowed me to bring that side out of me. But the overall favorite character, it got to be her. Um, me? She just met with it, and um, it's natural. So, Quinlisha. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Quinlisha. Oh, Quinlisha. Yeah. I thought you was gonna say Carmen, but okay. No, nah, I like Quinlisha. Um, but yeah, so those would be my two favorites. Well, now you gotta let her go. You gotta pass the mic to her now. Indeed. <laughs> Same question. Okay. <laughs> Same question. Whenever you. So, my favorite character for myself is Carmen. It's kind of a. Uh, well, they all me. Let me not say that. But when okay. I when I get to indulge a little bit, let's mm -hmm. say that as an adult. When that you get drunk. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's what you mean. Uh, that's not what I said. In real life? But the character is a <laughs> she, she drinks. She's not a drunk. Let's be clear. She's she drinks all drinker. the time. Let's be clear. No, all the time. She is. There you go. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. Is she divorced? No. She oh, have I just thought those two went hand in hand. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. My bad for me. Several. There's different choices. Okay. I got yeah. you. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. I got you. So whose character is your favorite? <laughs> From Keisha. Oh, really? I thought you were going to say Susan. Hey, <laughs> okay, who played Rome yeah, Keisha? Yeah. Her? You know, yeah. I played Rome Keisha. You know what I'm saying? Right here. Yeah. Right here. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so now, so now, you gotta talk now. Well, you know what I'm saying when I'm up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like Bruce King. No. They hate her. Um, I can't wait to see. I, I can't wait to see these clips. Well, go ahead, tell me. Uh, I think the favorite character that I play. It's probably Broom Keisha. Yeah. Next or Susan. maybe Susan. But Next Broom Susan. Keisha probably. Yeah. Okay. And then my favorite character on the show outside of... I don't know. I might say Patricia. Honestly. And she plays oh Patricia. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Patricia. Uh, Patricia, we're not going to be here today. We're, we're going to be sweet. Um, Uh-oh. so for me, I would say yes, Patricia, she is a hot mess. Um, but then, uh, I think my favorite character overall is Susan. She's like, Susan is a trick. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Susan is a I'm, I'm, so, so, I'm so pleased. I can't wait to see the show. Can I wait? Go ahead, you got that show with your hands and say, all right. See, we starting already. Right? Look, look, Wally over there like, nigga. Um, let's see, my favorite character that I've done, uh, I think it would be Mr. Mr. Thompson. Last summer, yeah. but it's just so f- Y'all, hold on. I gotta, I gotta tell y'all, this is Fred. Fred is a Status Network, and this is gonna be fun. This is not scripted. Okay. So- Yo, what's up, girl? How are you? I'm good, Fred. How you doing? I'm good. Fred, are you, do you what? have T-Mobile or Cricket right now? Because your phone is going out. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> hey, so I'm, not, I'm sorry, man. Um, yeah, man, I'm just tuning in, man. You know, I just got back in. Where you been, Fred? Where you been? I've been taking care of business, man, running errands, you know. You been running errands? Well, it, it, it's yes, cool that you have not came to the station to meet me in person yet, Fred. So I obviously must not have been on your errand list. Mm. I, I have to do what I have to do, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fred, do you see all these lovely black smiling faces on the couch with me? I have a full house. Are you yes, gonna, ma'am. You going to tell them hey? Oh, what's, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing, man? Hey, Fred. Uh-huh. Hey, what's good, Fred? What's y'all all stay in Atlanta? Y'all from Atlanta? Fred says, are y'all from Atlanta? No. I am. Yeah, I'm, I'm from Alabama, Fred. Hey. I'm from oh, that's Georgia. what's up. That's what's up, man. You know, I'm going to keep tuning in to y'all, man. If I got any questions, I'll let you know. Fred, you okay? You don't sound like yourself today. No, no, I'm straight. I'm straight. Did your girlfriend straight. break up with you? What, I mean, what's going on? No, I'm single. I'm single. I'm, I'm straight. <laughs> you sound normal today, Fred. I'm not used to this. Like, you, do you need a hug? You need an air hug or what? Red hiding in the closet, right? Now. I'm, I'm straight, Mo Clark, man. You know, I'm just tuning into the show, man. You know, I'm just. He said he's straight, Mo Clark. Well, thank you, Fred. I appreciate your support. Thank you for calling in. Yes. Make sure you watch the It's Variety Show. Where can Fred see the show? Okay, so right now the show is on YouTube, and we haven't been posting much content, but we'll get into it as the interview goes on because okay. we're submitting to different networks and all of that. So. Makes sense. Is that Jack Trey right there? Hey, go watch it on YouTube. Check right, out Variety. Subscribe, follow, the comment, The short share. answer is go watch it on YouTube. Fred, is you Yes, ma'am. I got you. I got you on the big screen. I got you. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Fred. 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 Fred, didn't Shit, Fred no, you didn't damn hang up on me. <laughs> Fred, 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 Fred. What is wrong with Fred? You ain't never acted as such. That's <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to end the whole show, uh, Fred. Okay, listen. Anyway, where we going? Wow. Right here with mm. Joe. Did you say that? Damn, Fred. Fred. No, oh, he, cause he know. said his favorite uh, character. No, what I was saying. Oh, I was saying my um, favorite character that I play is Mr. Thompson, just because mm-hmm. it's so fun um, watching all these clowns in the AA meeting, acting out their different characters. Um, but then my favorite character, oh, God, what was uh, CJ Wynn for the... Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot uh, CJ Mar- character. Walmart. <laughs> oh, well, that character doesn't have a name. Yeah, I think we do have a name for yeah, that character. Let me see. Let's just say, so why you look it up, basically, we, um, 
Again, in between all the jokes, we try to hit on like you know real topics. You know Absolutely. I mean? So we have a special episode Shake where we, as you said, we pull the wings. Okay. On some uh, on white chicks type stuff. Okay. And the whole episode. Yeah, and so. CJ, our missing uh, oh cast member. God, Shout out to yes. CJ. She couldn't make it, but. That was man, the best. She killed that. Like, <laughs> right. she, yeah. She, yeah. She, like, normally I get to shop at, uh, what is it? <laughs> like, in, no, that was Neiman Marcus. I think Neiman that's right. Yeah. Like, Neiman Marcus, now I gotta shop at Walmart. <laughs> I was explaining that scene is, uh. Where's your mic? Called, oh, yeah. I will explain that scene oh, no. <laughs> as no, um, no. <clears throat> us portraying rich people going through the pandemic. Mm. So, you know, going from making 80000 to making 75000 a year. Yeah. Can't buy outfit at sex anymore. You got to go get a work shirt from Walmart. You know, right. so it's like them... What about us in this pandemic? Mm-hmm. So we'll let you go watch that, but hashtag WLM... So we you can figure it. out. Them, them rich people you, you that were doing um, stuff on the pandemic right. must not have been posting on social media. Because all know. during this pandemic, I seen Cardi B buy an offset, <laughs> some cars. She gifted him some millions of dollars. She and I'd be like, what the hell? I wish I would give my boyfriend a million dollars. I would, baby. I would. It'd be your money, but I, oh, I would man. do it. And we know the term Black Lives Matter, and you can read in between the lines, hashtag WLM. So, mm-hmm. you know, so that's mm-hmm. what that whole scene is about. <laughs> so, funny thing, I got to ask you guys, because I went to perform in art school, right? Mm-hmm. And I grew up, I got old, I had kids. Mm-hmm. But shit don't leave your body. Right? Mm. So I would do this accent with my kids. And my kids know how to do this accent. Mm. So do any of you guys have kids? Do you act around, or nieces or nephews or or whomever, and do you act around them and do your accents and your roles? And do they pick up on it? I love it, though. I do. You do? I have several. You have several kids? Several what? Uh, Right, several what? Several kids or accents? I don't have children. Oh, because you didn't tell us about that. None of us have kids. I have plenty of nieces and nephews and cousins and, you know, things like that. Can they do that accent? Can they talk British? They they can? can. I love it. I love it. Have you ever pranked somebody? Like, we like to go, ironically, we like to go on Walmart and pretend we're British and we will have, (laughs) don't laugh. The seat, you see what I'm saying? This is a real moment I was sharing with you and you laughed. So and you're getting we, your Bridgerton on at Walmart. We, yeah, we do. And we do it. No offense to the guys on the couch. But we, we will do it in the, the feminine aisle. Because it's the funniest. Because people walk around, they be like, these niggas. And they talk, they sound like that. And we'll have the whole conversation without a beat. And we just think it's hilarious. Like, we get in the car and talk about people out of there. Did you see the way they was looking at them? Did you see that one? And I just think it's hilarious. Yes. So the kids pick up. They teach. You teach them. Do you find anything wrong with that? Do you let them watch the show? I mean, um... I wouldn't recommend the children. It depends on what episode, but honestly, like I said, the acting school, when I had it, my main focus were kids. We didn't start adult classes until the final year, Uh, but the main focus was kids, so I taught about six to seven kid classes a week. Mm -hmm. So, you know, different accents different types of scene from dramatics to comedy mm-hmm. they did it all so from that experience those kids pick up on everything mm-hmm. i didn't teach anybody to do a british accent but throughout the class you know they pick that type of I stuff up it. easily i love it so with this uh this land of social media <clears throat> serious moment again don't you laugh at me because i'm looking at you i'm mm-hmm. looking at this these, these girls are good on this side i ain't even got to move mm-hmm. my head okay <laughs> In the land of social media, right, you guys are relying on comedy and being funny. Mm. How do you feel about maybe not getting the likes that you deserve or the views that you deserve because you got, you know, Shaquita out here doing TikToks and draws, which I still don't understand that shit, bitch. Where are your clothes? Like, what? who cares about mm. you? <laughs> Where's your damn clothes? That shit be making me mad, bro. She ain't even doing shit. She off beat. She off rhythm. She ugly. Her wig sitting to the left. And, no. and she got on draws and she getting no. 12,000 views. I'm mm. sorry. I'm offended. What's up, bitch? But anyway, I forgot. Right. <laughs> <laughs> forgot oh, my the, God. What the original question was. I'm going to give a hit on that. Um, I have noticed 
you know, with the likes and all of that, just because mm-hmm. I have multiple Instagram pages and Me too. face all that. But I've noticed the more I've started to gain more followers and all that, consistency is what is really the issue uh, with social media. And the more you post, it seems like the more likes, the more people pay attention to it. But also with those TikTok videos, like you were just giving an example of, uh, it's the length. You know, it's a quick five seconds or whatever. You know, those videos that hit quick, I'm learning the shorter. Because people are just scrolling up and down and they see it. They're like, oh, I got to watch. They go back and watch it again. And they keep watching like, And while they're watching it, they probably watch it like 20 times. And like, oh, look at her stomach. And look at her underwear. Look at her wig. They're saying the same thing you're saying it. And they keep going back to watch it over and over to pick out those things. That's what getting. That's what's getting the views up. Not necessarily that she can dance in her costume. No, she couldn't dance. I said. I said. Couldn't. Exactly. I said couldn't dance, but she's dancing in her drawers. Mm. And then I'll, I'll touch on it too. Like it's it's one of those things where consistency is key, but also what's going to be for you is going to be for you. Like yeah. you can't judge off of what they doing on their side. Cause, he always you know, says like, that to me. Most of us are a, a little really older sure. here on, on the couch, even though that black don't crack, baby. I'm just but uh, we can't hello. pull off the same thing that an 18-year-old can do. You know right. what I mean? And um, right. again, it's just it's our own style. It'll be our own audience. And as we continue to grow and people watch us, ain't nobody like this variety crew. Oh, day long. And, and like he touched on that, building your audience and finding your niche, <clears throat> When you pitch into a, pitch in a TV show, you got to know what your demographic is. So that's mm-hmm. something we are fully aware of. Uh, we're not going to appeal to most teenagers. We're going to have several segments that's going to appeal to teenagers, mm-hmm. but our overall view is going to appeal to that 25 and up. Mm-hmm. You know? But we, we know our audience. Okay, so you talked a little bit about <clears throat> pitching. <sighs> now, <clears throat> here, here's the thing I want to know. <laughs> Way back in the day, mm. I was on a TV show. It was on Amazon, right? After it left Amazon, it went to 2 TV. Now people are watching it. More people are watching it. They stop and they pause. And they be like, is this you playing a thug? Yes, that's me playing a thug. I couldn't get my mm. gun out of my purse. It was a whole situation. But why would you want to pitch it instead of keeping it on YouTube? Do you think, like, monetary-wise is better? Or, you know, what? Because they're at listen... I ain't going to say the network. It ain't status, but it was a network that wanted me to basically give them my content, you know, and sign a contract and sign my show away. I would have given them, I think, like six episodes for free, and then the next six would have been I only got 20% of the of the content and the advertising. I'm like, bro, I, I'm good. I just I can't do it. So I sum that up in two words. What? Show business. Hmm. I signed it up, and I don't know how many words you <laughs> got me fucked up. That's what I'll it touch was. On it. Um, Excuse the French, but that's what it was. I knew we got to learn how to read, right? Yeah, and a absolutely. lot of people don't know how to read. Some people would have been like, "Ooh, they offer me a contract. Right. They want to put my stuff on their network." Meanwhile, they ain't got no views, mm-hmm. no nothing. You mm-hmm. just think you, oh, you, you got networks. a label behind you. Yeah. You got a network behind yeah. you, and then you giving them six episodes for free. But look, just off the principle of them reaching out, that already lets you know you got something. They need something that you got. Well, they need me. I didn't. I didn't need them. Right. I'll touch on that. We uh, we've had uh, two Roku channel, two brand new Roku channels reach out about us being one of the featured shows on there, and I kept saying we was looking through the contract, and I said, well, I'm just gonna hold off because we're sub- submitting to major networks, and one of the problems we ran into when trying to submit to the major networks. Netflix, who a lot of those major networks don't take pitch pitches from individual, you know, smaller production companies. Mm-hmm. They go through the pitch companies or major production companies who've already pitched to them before. Um, so we we are we still we have a couple offers for Amazon channels and all of that kind of stuff, but we have some other contacts that we that I knew personally that got us some contacts in the mm-hmm. major networks so we emailed and sent stuff to them so right now we're just we're not rushing into anything like I'm not going to sign anything or rush to any anybody to for a contract Absolutely. I'm being patient with this process because at any time we can sign the wrong contract and then right then Netflix and somebody comes right behind them and offers us a couple million dollars or whatever and Absolutely. we can't because we're locked into a contract with a network that we're just splitting the profits 50-50 and a lot of these up and coming Roku channels and Amazon channels, they pretty much 
are asking the, uh, for us to be on their channel and pretty much split the profits 50 50 and they're they're going to help with marketing and all of that um but as far as really giving us money towards our overall budget and production budget they're not offering that absolutely so that's the biggest issue for me that's why we're trying to submit to a bigger company because we're trying to upgrade our production mm -hmm. and signing with one of these roku channels or amazon channels guess it's going to get us more exposure and get us on a lot more people's televisions but <clears throat> we're not getting any money towards increasing our production Absolutely. and our costuming and all the things that we need mm -hmm. to make our show, show 10 times better than it mm -hmm. is. Ooh, Sound can, like can, the country can, can we talk on that a little bit? Uh, as far as how, you know, <laughs> when you're using, using your own clothes, the equipment. And I, I will. I'm going to let some more people talk, but I'll say, like, we literally, when I would send out the, uh, each week I would send out what costumes you need to bring. Everybody had a lot of wigs and everybody would bring my I still have a closet full we just had a room where everybody would bring all their their wigs their clothing and um, that's pretty much how we did it every week and we I got a closet like full of wigs weave all of that at the house why you keep looking at me when you say wigs and weave I wasn't gonna say that until you got to like the third, fourth time. I'm like, you know, yeah. is it my curl? Well, is I mean, it the curl on this? Just, just mm. just, just Shout out to Amazon <laughs> for such an amazing week. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She, she's doing what she's supposed to do Come today. Amazon. That's all, that's, all I know. that's all I know. But look, and she got it on Prime. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, hello, two day delivery. Got here just in time for this show. But look, when it comes to like costumes and things like that, have you tried to maybe pitch the show to smaller, you know, black owned businesses? Hey, we got the show. Da 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 da. Have you tried that to see if they'll be will? Cause listen. I asked Cardi B makeup artist to promote my makeup line, and she told me five thousand mm. dollars. And that wasn't even she didn't even say it was going on Cardi's face. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to send you this and you put it on your face. Yeah. We don't know who the hell you are. I'm sorry. You're you're very nice. You're very beautiful and talented. However, I need to know. You need the person with Cardi's the million face. followers, not the person exactly. with the ten thousand followers. Exactly. So a lot of times when we you know black owned businesses when we send our stuff we don't know what's gonna happen so that is one thing we talked about um as far as this upcoming season we really went the route of pitching to the networks first mm -hmm. and then if if we did say sign with the roku channel or amazon channel then we was going to take that route of um connecting with different local clothing lines and businesses and um seeing if we can use their restaurant within the shoot and we put their menu and their logo you know all that type mm -hmm. of stuff so yeah definitely um not only black owned businesses just b businesses in general within the city um because that'll build us up just as much just to have you guys there. pitched to what what's that i mean your show ain't ratchet but the show that be on there is ratchet oh my god what is the name of that network what's ray j Nell network who zeus is it zeus you said zeus yeah. zeus yes Never heard of Never heard Y'all ain't, ain't never heard of Zeus? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Y'all must don't want to spend that three ninety nine dollars a month. Is that what it is? Uh, Joe? So, um. <laughs> Maybe you have? You have? Yeah, like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I did email. I have a, I have a, a inside contact to them. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, Zeus has a, the, like the, 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 the route, well, the word on the street with Zeus is a lot of people like a lot of the content on their network. The issue is. The show comes out, there's 10 episodes playing, and then, and then you visit. don't get a, a yeah. new episode for another eight months. Yeah. So it's like their network is starving for new content and good content because the content they have is just plays playing over and over. And, um, you know, Jocelyn's Cabaret is on there. And, yeah. I Listen, no. I think it would be good. I think that would be good because it would be different. A show like yours is It'll not help. on there. Yes, that's that's that was my there, reason there for is, submitting there. There is no show like that. I didn't even know what kind of network this was until I seen the first season of Jocelyn's Cabaret. Jocelyn mm -hmm. had her breast out. I was like, oh my god, is this Look, is this Showtime? Let me ask you a question. Were you oh, like wow. me? You just wanted to watch one episode to see what it was like. Now my cousin was on. <laughs> two episodes I think she was the She's photographer the taking the pictures ah, so anyway 
the reason why I went to watch it was to see her episode and just to okay. see what the show was like. Yeah, just to see what the show was like. And after I watched one episode, I couldn't stop watching it. I watched the whole first season, but I ain't watched after the first season. You didn't watch after the first season? Uh, I ain't paying no three ninety nine to watch that show. You should. Is that good? Uh, you should. Well, the thing is, okay, so I got to go to the red carpet. <laughs> Look, I got to go to the red carpet, and Jocelyn's accent, she's really, really pretty in person. Oh, yeah. She's very beautiful in person, and mm. she's, surprisingly, she's very nice. Mm. She's right. very, very, I know, I was shocked. She was very nice. Now, the people that I've met in the industry that I thought were going to be nice, because they nice on TV, you'd be like, oh, my God, I can't wait to meet her. We're going to be BFFs. I met somebody, and she was a bitch. I was like, bruh, let me do this. I'm, I can do her interview, and I'm going to unfollow her because I felt like in that moment, my follow was what made her her, right? Even though she doesn't know I exist. I'm like, bitch, unfollow. You got a nasty attitude in person. I don't like you. We're not BFFs. I'm done. But Jocelyn, on the other hand, when she came out, she was just like, hey, guys, thank you for coming. And I was like... Oh my god, like I don't even like girls like that when I was like, Oh my god, I'll marry you. You're so beautiful and awesome and amazing. I bet you smell like flowers, like mm-hmm. and cake. Like she was just that nice. But her show, it gets you hooked. Mm-hmm. I think it was the the seeing her be nice and then seeing her be mean. Her snap, the the way she just the snapping and it's just crazy. That show is crazy. Who is Joshua? Jocelyn, Jocelyn Love and hip hop. Oh, y'all gotta chat to me. I play uh Kyla Bob with her little brother. Shout out to Kern. What's happening with you? Kern. Her little brother. Yeah, she got a little brother. Does he have an accent as well? Put the mic up. I'm trying to hear what you're talking about. You did what now? He does have an accent. (laughs) You played her little brother. So now you want to play it. No, I'm trying to hear. College football with the little brother. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. I missed it too, bro. Like, (laughs) I'm serious. We was playing. We was playing. I got a chance to hear. She came down and um, they pretty cool people. Um, pretty solid. That's well. I listen. For some reason, this works with everybody else. The shit don't work with me. But well, I can prophesy everybody else's life in future but my damn own. Okay. Mm. I'm going into marriage number twelve. I'm trying to be oh. I'm listen, don't oh. didn't I say damn it, don't laugh? Shit, I'm just listen. I got a question. You funny. I got a question. Do you think I'm the problem? No. No. <laughs> Do you think it's Sorry. the wigs that's causing <laughs> Not at all. Because, you know, when they say they want to see other people, you got to get them other people. I, I, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> she saying what she said. I said what I said, and I meant it. Like, I want you to be excited. Like, I like you not knowing who the hell I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? When I'm getting dressed, I can have on my full outfit. You just go ahead and wait in the car. The wig is going to change who I become when I sit in that car. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I told you, me and my kids, mm. we love to go in Walmart and talk to people like this the whole time. Mm. So that's what we do. You love that. You love that. She I do. I, I was so excited when she started this because I was like, oh my God. She's not. They don't know proper English. They, they don't speak standard. I, right. And then the whole Ebonic thing, you know, yeah. the slang. Yeah. yeah. They say that they don't do like, that. I don't like that. Not at all. I don't like when you behave like such. <laughs> <laughs> this is my spirit animal. Yeah. I like her. She an animal. Oh, no. It's yeah. okay. They like it, don't you? <laughs> they do. <laughs> you, got, you give them a little growl. You got yeah. to say, you know. Oh, God, don't you start that. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Do we need to move? Do you guys need to capture yourself? Yeah. So this is what I'm prophesying. I think you are gonna be on Zeus. I do think that. I think that's gonna be a good network for you. I I don't. don't, Listen, I'm sorry. And even if it's just the beginner, you know, that's where we start, and then Hulu or Netflix picks up. But I'm just looking right now. I'm looking for a starting point. I'm looking for some something to launch us into something bigger. Well, what it's a couple of those networks. I, you know, you made sense when you said they have people that they work with before. Because no offense to the Africans. But oh, they got to stop putting them damn movies on there. Cause first some of, of all, are good. Some which some ones, good. girl? Cause if I'm watching some shit and I see the boom, Mike, you just threw me. <laughs> <laughs> cause now, cause now I don't even want to know what the rest of the show about. I'm probably bro, did you see that shit? <laughs> Rewind it, go back. Did you, bro? What is that? You oh see them trying to move? <laughs> now I done been on set before and I done been mic'd up and, and stuff happens, but damn that y'all couldn't who, 
Mm. The you damn can talk that out while you're editing exactly. it. Exactly. Like, nobody caught it. Listen, mm. Larry the Moon yeah. guy had some edibles and lost his balance because that oh. shit was like, I'm serious. <laughs> I saw that movie. I was like, damn, that's 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 so ghetto. This that's was on Zeus? No, it wasn't no. on oh. It was like, Never mind. Don't worry about it. Uh, oh, well, yeah. It Netflix. wasn't on Netflix. Now, oh. people have a misconception just because they, they see something on Netflix or Amazon. they like, oh, oh you're doing big things and all that. Ca- what am I oh. Oh, sure. He thought Larry. we was having a regular conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I forgot we was on camera. No, people have a misconception just because something is on Netflix or Amazon or whatever that it's, you know, a uh, major production and it has yeah. that quality. But no, there are plenty independent films on Amazon that are like two minute, three minute films that are horrible production. Trash. Trash. And Netflix has some bad productions on there also. Mm-hmm. So it's not always about, you know, what network or whatever you what, mm-hmm. what platform you're on because some of them have bad they just got connections and got it on there. Absolutely. But uh when we go on Netflix, we want that because uh, I have friends who worked on shows that were okay shows that had like twenty, thirty million dollar budgets mm-hmm. and they didn't need that for those shows. And look, Somebody. give us some millions and we're going to be good to go. <laughs> so I got to ask y'all this, because some people say they don't do it, right? Do you, and this is for everybody, mm-hmm. when you film and you put the content out there, do you go back and watch yourself? No. No? What? What? Because I watch my TikTok. He's going to be the only one to say no. He's going to be the only one to say no. All them, them hundreds of views right. on my TikTok because is probably you're gonna, me. you're going to get into critiquing yourself too much. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, no. I know. I know who do that. You're the only one. Everybody, I feel like everybody, like, yeah. You can't, no. I learn, I like to see myself yep. on the screen. I'm just, <laughs> you know, I can't wait till the screen gets bigger. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate every corner of myself, and I, I look at, I, I definitely do. Yeah. What about you? Where he going? He going? Is he going to look at? His, is he going to look at himself? That sounds bad. He, he that sound goes to bad. the bathroom a lot. He's, he's going to he look at himself. CJ. He oh. do know we laugh. <laughs> He, he goes okay. to the bathroom a lot. Oh, that's, what, that's what old people do. Is he pregnant? I, I don't know, but since I've known him, he goes to the bathroom like, really? multiple times a day. I'm just saying. I Literally, if he comes over and we're filming, he probably goes proud. to the bathroom ten times within us filming the five-hour period. I mean, so it it gotta, might be a health condition. It might be. I think he's pregnant. You are so so look, do you like? Do you look at yourself? Do you? I mean, that sounds bad. Of course but he um, I have to because I edit everything. So I edit the show. Um, <laughs> I constantly edit the show. Uh, I do a lot outside of the show um, mm-hmm. with acting and wrestling and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm, I've gotten to the point where I am my worst critic. So I always mm-hmm. watch stuff back, and I'm going to cut out the worst part. That's just me. Like I'm just used to watching myself back. I couldn't imagine. I know me. you do. Now I will say something. Yeah. I watch the stuff over that I film my my personal projects, but. Like, I did a show last year with TV One, and I did some commercials last year for my agent. I still haven't seen the show I did for TV One, and I still haven't seen the commercials I did last year. Hmm. So, and I think a part of that is you film that stuff, and it takes months for it to come out. True. And after, you know, I'm, like, moving constantly. So I don't think about stuff I've shot six months ago. Please, I do. Now, I will say, I don't go, (laughs) I love you, JoJo, I don't go back and watch this show. I don't go back and watch my show unless I am editing and I'm doing snippets or something like that and I want to get the people engaged and make them go back and watch it. But my TikToks, bro, <laughs> what? <laughs> I be looking at them laying in bed like, girl, you <laughs> Especially my drafts. Like, I have 50 them TikToks in my draft and I sit there and watch it, girl, you going to kill them when this drops. <laughs> they ain't going to see this coming. Then you drop the shit and get 15 likes. You mad, bitch, you know how many times I had yeah. to change my weed? That's how I am with Instagram. I uh, have my drafts because, you know, when you manage your multiple... Real. Yeah, when you manage yeah. multiple Instagram accounts, you got to just do that stuff in one day, have mm-hmm. it sitting in. You can't do it when it's on the run, but yeah, I'm like that with Instagram. It's man, I be wanting to beat TikTok up every wow. time. I be like, bro, look, it must be somebody for y'all because I know and it ain't for me. Yeah. Hey, Thank you for calling the post up. This is Mo Clark. Hi guys, I got a question about today's events and your thoughts on it. Okay. Well, I mean, how do you feel about the tragedy that befell our nation today? Um, well, 
Unfortunately, what? I've been working all day. No, the the the, uh, the the breakup after 40 years of the mighty mighty boss tones. <laughs> I I will say that it has deepenly deepened sad, saddened me. Yeah. Sad in our hearts. Sad in our hearts. Yeah. Yeah, I talked to my yeah, I mean, it about turns it. out that Dickie may have been an anti vaxxer and his wife may have been a little off a rocker. Oh, my yeah, that, God. That's, what, that's no. what I was telling my mama earlier, man. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, let's I face it. This is. Uh, too, so, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. This character. Let's ask yeah. Susan what she thinks. Susan? Yeah, yes. It really, it really broke my heart to see it happen. But God be forced, he can be against us. Well, the impression that I get is you guys aren't taking this seriously, so. How did you actually get this call in number? Do you watch the show? I mean, there's nobody watching it right now, so I'm the only one who called in. Okay, so technically, if there's nobody watching it and you called in, there is somebody watching it, and then somebody would technically be you. <laughs> So I do appreciate that one view. It's still going to make me money. So I appreciate that. Roll time. Like <laughs> no, it won't. How do you know? Oh, don't be like that. Why are you being like that? You hung up on me. We got to call ID. I can call your bitch ass back. But anyway. What you want to do? What I'm, trying oh, to I'm, tell you. I'm trying to tell you. You talking about breaking up. I'm on my fifth. You got divorced three times in the How many times did I have said the last time? You said three, then 14? you went to 12. How many was it that time? If, uh, 15. Yeah, we're going to get the truth one day. We're going to get so the one truth. so many, she just can't keep <laughs> To tell you the truth, I lost count after 10. Ugh. I don't know how Elizabeth Taylor did. Are you Taylor being serious? Did. God rest Elizabeth Taylor's soul. <laughs> like, I'm trying to be like... Elizabeth Taylor and Pamela Anderson. I don't know how they are able to have so many marriages and nobody looks twice about it. But if a black girl do it, mm. ooh, she can't keep a man. Maybe that nigga didn't want to be kept. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm just like, maybe you didn't want to keep. Uh. Maybe that nigga didn't want to be kept. Oh my god. Damn, shit. Shit. No, no. You nobody agree? You right, you right, you know what I'm saying? You know. Why it's always gotta be the woman's fault? Why the woman can't keep a man? Hey, Why man, you know women just not right. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, Uh-oh. Lord, you about to get this yourself in trouble. Right. Yeah, get myself in trouble. I can defend myself. Now, so I'll rock right with y'all. Why, why are women not right? No, I, not all women. Okay. Just certain women. You know, it's... it's it really the women who materialistic. God know. didn't want nobody to hear what he was saying. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. That's what I'm just saying. You know, just a lot of women are very materialistic. Damn. You know, they only want something because of who you are or because they can't get it themselves. You know, salute to the independent Ooh, right. women who don't need a guy for nothing, you know, because it makes it harder for a uh, guy to even get in contact with. Like yourself. I'm going to tell you, as long as Amazon <laughs> got $20 wigs, I don't need a man for shit. <laughs> see? You see what I'm saying? Now, if, if and ever I decide I want to bump myself up to the little two, said, 239 the lace, lace front. Front. Yeah, to the lace front. So you, you still go. have a problem. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? Man. What's interesting about what you said is there are some guys that are exactly like that as right, well. Right, because they're trying really to figure are. out, you know, it's the law of attraction. So you you believe that? You believe attracting that? The wrong type of woman. The women who would like Or it's the body. way you no, attract in the mat. That's I'm in, what I'm, she said. Well, no, I'm oh, in a great Lord. relationship. I'm in a relationship. I'm just giving an opinion. You dig know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah. Oh. So, okay. okay. So, so the first thing, so <laughs> there are men out there that, that like to date women just because of their status and what they think they have. You know, ooh, she on true. Instagram. She got 30,000 followers. Let me be with her. Yeah, and then they, they get over in that shit and realize that you're nothing like, so you guys play characters, right? Mm-hmm. So I had somebody fall in love with my character. Mm-hmm. I'm not like that at home. Shit, mm-hmm. she a thug. She can't go. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me think that through. Right. Like, <laughs> like, wait a minute. Hold on. I don't carry a gun, but I am a thug. So, back to what you said. Mm. You believe in the laws of attraction? It's, well, that is not the, the universal law, but it is a byproduct. He said, put your mic of, up. It's not the universal law, but it's a byproduct of that. And so, when everything is a mirror for you in your life, 
And so things that come to you, it is a lesson to be learned. You attracted it to you in order for you to Hallelujah. learn something, get something from it, or either the the polarity of that is you were pulled. Big words. That you know what that means. Like Duality. That. You got to respect the realm you're in. So on this side, you have something that you repulse. So you may attract something to yourself that you repulse yeah. so much, but really that's a mirror for yourself because mm. the trigger is within you. So you're like, well, why she do I have, saved me have such marriages. an issue I'm with this or this or how they act? And, but I allow myself to engage with I like them. this one. No, I like really, this one. though, sis, 13 times. <laughs> <laughs> I am so literal because you keep throwing this number out here. I'm like, sis. We need to not. Let's be honest, um, you know, with the... With social media, TikTok, Instagram, and it's all these new social here. mediums, you we are living in a very vain society. Mm. Everyone wants to be seen and on camera, and mm -hmm. people are famous for doing nothing at this point in time. Absolutely. And honestly, I could say everybody that's you know on the cast, we're not doing it just because we want to be famous. You love that. it. We're doing it because we this is our craft. We love to do it. Mm -hmm. We have fun doing. We enjoy doing it. Yes. And, um, you know, our focus is, of course, we want to make money. Right. But our sole focus is not, oh, we just trying to be seen and be TikTok famous and mm -hmm. be right. Instagram famous and get a lot of likes. No, we really want to build wealth wealth with this and grow this into coming up with other TV shows and other pro managing yeah. other projects other and other opportunities. Other opportunities. And I that's like what it. I say. We all have individual goals and all have individual uh, talents and things that we do and you know we want this show to be the catalyst for us to be able to get into those other ventures that we want to do. Jojo I forgot I started doing this interview I want to get their opinion moments with Mo Jojo take me to it An exciting week, and you know, we already had the guy tell us about somebody breaking up. I don't know, it would sound like my 15th husband. But JoJo, who's first? Kanye and F Kanye and Future are teaming up to do Donda Part Do. Um, listen, how do you did you guys listen to the first Donda? No. I mean, technically, I think this should be done to part three because he had the first one, then he added some, took some mm -hmm. away, and he's then third and other. But this is supposed to be done to part two with Future. Okay. Um, I'm not, I love a good beat and will dance and all that, but I'm not that into hip hop, so I can care less. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't keep up with none of that type of stuff. Patricia? <laughs> she, she does not deal with this riffraff, and so I have no idea what, what this is here. <laughs> you know, uh, I listen knows. to it. I'm, I'm a hip hop head. I, I listen to it, and you know, I I rocks with it. I rocks with it. I, I still think old Drizzy still got him. But uh, could you clarify who Drizzy is? Him. Is that Drake? If I gotta explain that, then <laughs> I'm just trying to make because I was like, is this somebody new or is there a new rapper named Drizzy? It's, or? it's definitely Drake. Okay, um, great. Yeah, sorry. Were you finished? Yeah, that's it for me. Yeah, I rock with Donda. I can relate to Kanye. Yeah. Oh. How, how? How? Please tell us. No, please, <laughs> please go back. Please, please elaborate. He's been known to be a little crazy, so let's just. He's not crazy. crazy. He's a genius. Okay. But. He's not afraid to be different, you know. He don't mm. follow the crowd, you know. Okay, now Especially I get Especially with them ugly-ass galoshes he been wearing lately. Because I'm like, <laughs> ain't your feet hot? Like, dude, is he? <laughs> he wearing, is he wearing he socks? That's some big-ass boots. You know, I was mm. trying to figure out the patches in his head. Were those real? Oh, that the was patches? real. Then. What, what happened? Somebody could have seen the door. It's a crisis. I don't know. Nah, I don't think so. He's just being different, doing what he want to do. I feel like he just trying not to conform to what everybody else is doing. And he Whatever shouldn't. that may be. All right. JoJo, who else I got? Mm, let's see. Oh, Bobby, Bobby Brown. Bobby they, listen, A&E &E is going to give Bobby Brown a two-part documentary. Mm. I'm just trying to figure out why. Oh, first you of all, like no, 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 I love Bobby Brown, but we already seen the Bobby Brown we movie. Did. It was we kind of awesome. have seen everything in his life now, so at this point, it's like, what else are you going to show? What us they going to do us? different? True. 
I'm just saying, Bobby, we love you. I didn't love you on that versus with Keith Sweat. You and Uncle Keith Sweat was doing too damn much, and y'all shouldn't have even. I've seen that. They, first of all, they, they was, was wrong with lot. him with Keith Sweat. They in a whole different generation and John Rue music. That wasn't even fair. I don't fair. know about generation. Bobby, <laughs> Bobby is nowhere near like I mean, like when he was in Keith his Sweat. prime, he was a youngin'. So maybe that's what, I. you know, I don't know. Maybe, you know, guy has some. That was so something good. in his pocket, you know. Ain't nobody won that when they both was out of breath. He <laughs> sweat won that. I could just you say that. Bobby. In later years, I have appreciated Bobby Brown as an artist more than I ever did before. Sure. Uh, when you go back and watch his videos, yeah, the creativity, the his perform, his live performances, everything was just before its time. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate him as an artist. Um, but like you said, we've pretty much seen everything dealing with their life, unless they're going to go in more in depth into what his life is now, with the new wife, the new kids, and now being on the road and not being the young guy who was overdosing and doing all this crazy stuff on tour. Now he's performing and living his life as an older man. You know what? One album. He continued to be an A-list star off of one album. Well, That's I'm going to say this. Well, you know, but not one album because of new edition and all those years and stuff. Correct. But I'm just saying with him, when he hit you with that first one, that was everything. Yeah. You don't need to play any other song. I take it back. I support him because if he's still behind on child support, he need, he need. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm I'm saying he need he need it. So we'll we'll watch your life again. It don't matter. Mind. He got he old backpack. Thought out my mind. He old yeah. backpack. Uh. Jojo, who next and last? Rihanna and Ari and Lisa Ray. I ain't put her picture up here. So Ari got dropped from Fenty for her mouth and her comments and mm -hmm. her talking about domestic violence and we know Rihanna and Chris Brown had that fight in the car and Rihanna don't play about the domestic violence mm -hmm. stuff. So Lisa Ray has chimed in and tried to give Ari some advice. Ari ain't gonna shut up. I just I just want the people to know that. I don't know her personally but she continuously says the, the dumbest shit and people mm -hmm. forgive her. On social media, they forgive her. She gets smart with people. Could she you give us an example of some of the things she's... When she was talking about, you know, how she bought Moneybag Yo, the property, and then she was like, why everybody worry about what we do with our money? Bitch, you put it on social media for everybody to see. They just weighing in. That's what they're going to do. Like, when I talk about my 16th husband, they're going to weigh in, mm -hmm. and they're going to want to know, you know, how did I find this man that I found? <laughs> And I'm going to have to bring them back and say what God had for me, he had for me. If he had husband number 16, that's what he was waiting on me. Okay? He couldn't be husband number 14 because he wasn't ready yet. He was still baking. Yeah. None of these celebrities can get mad at um, people anything. being judgmental or anything because you're literally putting your life out there for the public. And you choose to put out what you put out. Absolutely. So you can't you can't choose how people judge when you decide to put stuff out there. So that's on them. If you don't want something to be talked about, no, don't put it on there. social media. So. I like that. I agree with that. So before I let you guys go, we're going to end with your clip. But before we do that, everybody tell who. What, I was trying to follow one of y'all. Y'all page was private. Y'all might oh, want that was me. You might want to unprivate. Uh, you might want to open it. You might want to open it out. I got people I got to watch out for. I'm sorry. Oh. I'll, we got what clip? All you got to do is request me. Dang. Huh? He says he has one of the clips. I sent him to Okay. Hmm. You want to end with that or you want to play it, come back? Move it around? Okay, we're going to play it and come back. Okay, let's do it. Nope. He said, "Does it matter?" We don't know what. We don't even know. Are. Nope. It doesn't matter. Surprise him. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Pick pick your favorite. That's what you do. Right. Pick your favorite. He Let's didn't see look at somebody. We haven't favorite. watched him because we wanted okay, to be, well, just we wanted to be surprised too. Oh, oh all right. Man. Hopefully we set in a good one. Uh -oh. it's he said, "I got one. I got it." I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Get up. About to get fired. Get them to get. I don't care. I don't care what's going on. I don't care. So, Brother Reggie can't be paying you. I'm paying you $50 a week. Now, you better get it together. I don't care. Make make sure she there on top. We got a show coming up and it's going to be 100 people there. That's a lot of people. You cannot mess it up. You hear me? All right. Yeah. 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 You do what I say, do, or you're going to get your fired. I don't think y'all understand. The label, they through with y'all. 
They about to drop you. This is it. If y'all don't come through, it's done. Nigga, are you listening? Hell yo, I'm tired, Lord. I do this. You gotta worry about me. They fed up. I come to practice every day. What I mean? Y'all still lazy. Y'all still look like trash. My God, would you shut up? Chandrea is here. Hello, people. Girl, sit down. Sit down. We've been waiting for you. A chair is still a chair. Are you ready to sit down? Pause. Pause? Did she just say pause? Pause? pause. Where? Did I have to switch from just... my day shades to my night shades. I can't stand mm -hmm. her. Give me a moment. Girl, give me this bag. I am sick of you. Oh. The label, sick of all of y'all. You about to lose your contract. I don't lose, darling. <laughs> I'm a winner. Ooh. Well, you sound a mess today. You know off. I uh, thank you. Can, just can y'all warm up? Do something. All right, all right, I got it. Calm down. All right. Okay, guys, let's just start with a C ramp up the scale. Okay. What? Uh, Ty, your soprano. Oh. And Tanya, you, you can't sing. Um, and Phil, I need you to be my alto. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, oh, it sounds awesome. That's beautiful. Oh God. Let's go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Two to the left, two to the right, four to the left. What? Or was it to the right? I gotta stop getting hot before practice. Oh, do it. Okay, okay, all right. Girl? Okay. Uh, 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 uh. What uh, is happening? Wow. That was actually nice. Ty, you gotta spin you know to what? the right. You gotta I'm spin to the right. Enough, what? enough. I'm sick of y'all. What's wrong? What's wrong oh, now? Y'all look a mess. Yep. Have y'all been rehearsing at all? That we was here perfect. Every day. Except we're tired of doing the spin around. Right. Right. This guy over Baby, here. Give me one this one over here. I told him to spin. I'm done. Y'all not together. We it's, paid you already. Girl, you pay know what? We don't have to take this. And you I'm can go. Your oh, oh, you can go. I don't think you're going. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Coming off the second time, but because the first time when it came off, we, it was, that was one of the problems we had to stop filming because uh, we were just like dead. <laughs> yeah, I think that probably meant to keep keep that scene because that was funny. Right. I like that. That was funny. So it's good that you guys have a good relationship. Tell everybody where they can find you at on social media. Okay, so my name is Joy Yvonne, and you can find me on all social media platforms. That's J O I E V O N N E. Girl, you got TikTok now? I'm kidding. I do. Um, you can find me on Facebook as Naja Small, N A J A S M A L L, or you can um, Instagram Naja Sism, N A J A S I S M. It's Variety Network on Instagram. That's It's Variety Network, where you can see clips of the show, pictures, and all that crazy stuff that we do. And then also the YouTube. Just type in It's Variety. And uh, probably if you type in 
Narcissism, you can find me everywhere on the internet, website, all that good stuff. Can I spell that shit? N A J A S I S M. You can find me on all social media platforms at joejames.active. You can find myself on all social media platforms as WileyJ19 and Facebook and Google, Wiley Isaac Jr. What's your point of fish? I said, what's your plenty of fish page? It's a dating site. It's a dating you site. You know it. Oh, you know what it is. No. He said, he said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, you I'm in a relationship now. You know, I ain't got none of that. No more. <laughs> I ain't got none of that. No I mean, no you know, saying. we. We we knew to hearing about this relationship. I was so all was, day long. I was here for the. That could have been one of the clips. She oh, ain't she been posted. Been posted. So, so it's, it's not serious. It's not official. <laughs> it's, not serious. <laughs> it's not serious. It's serious. She's not posted. You're private. I'm not private. Damn, you got some explaining to do. Oh, go, yo, go. <laughs> Uh, Shayna Janae here. You can follow me on whatever social media. S H A N N A underscore J A N E A. But I do know on IG it's S H A underscore J A N E A. Repeat that. To say we're all focused on our Instagrams right now. Okay. And, uh, and our missing castmate CJ. Uh, you can follow her at CJ Smiley Face Seven on all social media platforms. Salute. Shout out, CJ. And you guys know who it is. You can follow me on the post-up. That's D-A-P-O-S-T-U-P. You can also follow my personal IG, which is Miss Mo Clark. And if you want to give Jack an early Christmas present, go ahead and follow Status Network Global Vision TV. I will see you guys. JoJo, one day I'm coming back again. i see y'all next month sometime. It's not next week, but it's the week after that. I don't really know who's coming on the show, but we're going to figure that out between now and then. And we are up out of here. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. It's rising. That's right. That's my baby. You better show him, baby. Show him. Yeah, show him. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.